Greetings and welcome to this video. We're going to focus exclusively on the new interface improvements in Spectral Layers 11. Let's get started. When you launch the program, the new home screen facilitates opening existing projects as well as the inception of new projects. Now you can drag in multiple files and open them as either single project layers like we're doing here or multiple projects on their own tabs. Here we've kicked off three new independent projects at once. In addition, you can drag files from your desktop right into the Layers panel to add layers to a project, as well as create new projects by dropping files right next to existing projects. Upon relaunch, you get instant access to up to 20 of your most recent actions. Here I've opened a single WAV file for song and mixing, and as you can see, things look completely different in this edition. There's a lot going on. For the moment, notice that all Spectral Layers processes are now visible in their own dedicated panel called the Modules panel. This new Modules paradigm allows you to access all processes in a superb new workflow. At the top of the panel's display, there's a new Compact button. Click on it to maximize the horizontal spectrogram and waveform display aspects. Panels become condensed into a column of icons, but their controls remain accessible at all times. This has the combined effect of maximizing your view while maintaining access to all the processes. Now I'll apply the Unmix Song process and then re-expose the panels view. Brand new in this edition is the option to compact the layers view to make room for other things, such as, for example, your view of all available processes like we see here. Very convenient. Also new in this edition, now you can select multiple layers for editing and management operations, such as merge, duplicate, delete, group, and so on. You can now drag layers directly to your desktop to derive transcoded audio files. Drag multiple layers directly into the Cubase and Nuendo Arrange windows in ARA mode. Layer-based volume envelope control is introduced in the new edition. There's an envelope on-off switch on every layer, and envelopes are edited in the waveform display. The composite view option has been relocated to the layers panel. And here, a new viewing option called Selected Layers View dims unselected layers by a user-defined amount that can range from full color to full black. In the Channels panel, Solo to Audio now routes to all available monitors. Channel names now include their abbreviated forms as displayed in the spectrogram. The new Downmix Channels View option displays a single channel spectrogram view of all active channels. The Unmix and Process menus have been condensed into a new menu called Modules. New in this edition, the Modules paradigm is designed to accommodate the ever-increasing number of available processes, while, at the same time, maximizing their flexibility by allowing chaining, sorting, filtering, and saving process chains. And this signals a new phase in workflow speed and efficiency. The display panel is now user configurable, which of course is great because there are so many available controls. We start with an essential settings default state that can be modified to suit your workflow. Simply select the controls you need to see and save your view as a preset. Another great new workflow feature. And finally, an updated history panel now allows you to give events unique names to reference as you work. From its new home screen functionality to the sweeping improvements in process accessibility, the Spectral Layers interface is evolving in tandem with its increasing technical sophistication, making the editing process inviting and transparent. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectral Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.